Jack, if you were a frog, where do you think you would want to go on holiday in the winter? In there. Today we're going to show you how you can make a simple habitat for the reptiles and amphibians in your garden to keep them warm and cosy over the winter. So what we're making is a high binaculum and that's basically a hole in the ground full of logs, rocks, leaf litter, somewhere where they can hide away from the worst of the winter. One of the great things with a high binaculum is you can make use of what you find in the garden. It doesn't need to look neat and tidy. Any old bricks, tiles, logs that have fallen down, you can break them all up and use them in there like this. So ponds are great for amphibians in the springtime, but for the rest of the year, they're spending their time in the leaf litter. So when you're looking for somewhere to put the high binaculum, there's a couple of things you want to look out for. A nice sheltered area with a little bit of sunlight is ideal. It doesn't have to be right next to the pond, but the nearer the pond, the easier the access to the high binaculum. The first step is to mark out and clear a space for your high binaculum. We're doing ours just over a metre across. A bigger one would of course support more species, but the main thing is just work with what you've got. Any high binaculum is better than no high binaculum. So Jack has just cleared some of the leaves here. He's done some hard work. Um, I'm going to now help with some digging. Well, I think Laura's loosened up the soil a little bit, but I've done most of the digging. Um, with regards to the depth to the high binaculum, you want to be around about 60 centimetres. And the reason for that is it's going to be a much more secure and stable temperature for the amphibians and reptiles. You think even the most harshest British winter is not going to be more than two or three inches of frost, but you need that depth below that where they can hibernate nice and safely. So let's get this a bit deeper. I don't know this cat, but he's come to pay me a visit when I was about to talk to you about drain pipes. But um, I guess this is more important. Um, Jack is finishing off the um, digging, which I obviously did most of. This is going to form a little passageway for reptiles and amphibians to um, crawl into the hibernaculum. Um, it's easy access, basically. Um, I'm going to cut this into two <laughs> different... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut this into two uh, different pieces of varying lengths so that we can um, have it going from ground level down into different depths of the hibernaculum. So I'm just going to use a hacksaw to do this. Jack. Yeah? How are you getting on? You finished yet? No, I'm, I'm not messing around with a cat. I'm digging up to your waist in here. Are you standing up? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> the next thing to do is to start filling in the hibernaculum with all the bits and pieces that we've gathered from the garden. And the first thing to put in is the drain pipe. And the reason for this is that this acts as the entrance for all the creatures that want to get to the warm, cosy bits at the bottom. So to make life a little bit easier for them, we're going to shove a stick down the pipe. They'll be able to climb in and out with the pipe just there anyway, but by putting the stick down, it just gives them something to climb up against and a little bit of grip. So put some sticks in, shall we, Laura? Let's put some sticks in. Okay. And then we've got four drain pipes here. The key thing is to make sure that one side of the drain pipe is level with the ground so that the creatures can get in and out. So you can arrange these however you like. Once the pipe is in, there's no real order to what else you put in. So we've got obviously a huge array of stuff here, tiles, bricks, logs, some leaf litter. The most important thing is making sure that there's gaps for the reptiles and the amphibians to get in. There's no point just filling it up with soil again or you've dug a hole for no reason. So there's gotta be lots of gaps for them to kind of crawl in and keep the moisture and the warmth in at the bottom. So let's fill the let's hole. Let's do it. <laughs> So 
So now it's starting to get full with all the kind of pipe, the tiles, the logs and things. We want to create a nice layer to kind of cover that and that's obviously going to keep the moisture, keep the heat in um, and just provide the, a bit more shelter for the frogs and newts and things. So we're more or less filled up now and the last thing to do is just have that insulating layer on the top. So we're doing that with lots of dead leaves, twigs, that's to just trap in the heat and that's going to be perfect for all the amphibians and reptiles. So let's, uh, let's get this all on there and then nearly done. It's looking cosy and warm. Yeah, I'm tempted to get in actually. Yeah? Yeah, I could sleep in that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> The next step is to pile back on all the soil that we dug out in those early stages. And the aim is to have a little bit of a heap, uh, which keeps it nice and warm, but make sure the entrances to your drain pipes are still sticking out. Now, one little tip, once you've piled your soil back on, is to sow some seeds, and autumn is the ideal time to plant wildflower seeds. And because wildflowers like infertile soil, all of that soil that you got from deep down, that is the ideal soil to be putting back on top of your heap and sowing those wildflower seeds into. One final thing is we're making use of this broken plant pot and we're just going to dig that in, just avoid Laura burying me and try and create a tight space beneath the plant pot because that's what the frogs, the toads, newts, the slow worms, they're going to prefer it nice and squidged up where they can curl up and get away from the cold and the wet. So let's give that a go. Should I cover that with some soil then? Yeah, I'd put a bit of soil on that. Nice one. I'll, uh, I'll supervise. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon that's it? I would say we're about there, yeah. yeah. It looks it looks good. I'm pretty pretty impressed with that. We've got the mound build up and it's all it's all looking good, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Yeah, the soil has been heaped into a pile, um, which not only sort of keeps it warm, but also provides a good bed for the wildflower seeds that we're gonna plant. Yeah, I can just imagine this in the spring with all the kind of Wildflowers on that's going to look quite nice, and the frogs kind of tucked up in there, just ready for ready to hop in the pond. Like a Disney film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>